What's the beautiful people? This is Kuram from my guess one and hope you all are having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm going to be charging my Tesla and taking it to the non Tesla charging station, which can charge up to 350 kilowatt. And we are using this Tesla to CSS adapter by EV basis. And I have link in the description and make sure that your car is enabled with the support for the CS adapter. And I'm going to be taking you guys there using the autopilot and every 15 seconds or so I'll have to put my hand on the wheel because that's really important. Only I leave it on the turns to not to have any interference with the autopilot. It is on the full self driving. And if you are enjoying my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of Tesla content that's going to be on the channel. And why I'm going to this EV go, it's a non Tesla charger. It's about 38 minutes from my home and I'm going to reach there with the a little over like 55, 56 percent charging. So one thing that was noticeable that when I put the address for that, it was not showing up in the Tesla listed charging list. So I have to put a Tesla supercharger address to just to start preconditioning my battery. If I didn't do that and I reached the charging station, my battery wouldn't be conditioned. And I realized this when I got to the middle of the way. So that's why you will see the Tesla was charging at 75 watts instead of the 100 watts. So now enjoy the experience and let me know what you guys think. And this is the whole experience in the real time. This is the voiceover I'm doing. But now let's begin the video. Okay, so I've made it to the CSS charger, which is by the EVGO. And I reached here with the 40, not 42, sorry, it's 56% battery. I have the Tesla supercharger that I put in the stop because I wanted to uh, precondition my battery and it does not do it if you go to a non tesla charger so it is a tip that if you guys want to charge fast charging because the css chargers can go up to 350 watts so make sure to put the address for the supercharger and just add it as a stop so that way your battery will start preconditioning and when you reach let me show you guys about the ev go here so we have one two and three chargers and right now nobody is using these chargers it's all available to me so you can see there's the one two and three and now let's go and see uh, i have the adapter that i'm gonna use it is from the ev base and this one is right here so this is the uh, css to tesla charger because if you see the chargers here uh we have this one which is uh, i'm gonna have to see i'm here for the first time so you have a tesla charger which can do only 50 kilowatt um then you have the css which is maximum 100 kilowatt it actually says 350 but still it is faster but in order to charge with the css charger uh, you need to connect this right here let me check on the other stations if they have more than 100 watt but still better than the tesla which is like 50 watts so i'm gonna be using this adapter to see how it's gonna do but let's check this one right here um where do I see it? So it says EVGO fast charging. It is the CSS. And then they have the CSS B. So there are two chargers. Uh, the same CSS, but it's B and A. I believe this is the fastest one. Let me see the specification if I can find somewhere. Um, it does not. Even though if I find the specification, <laughs> It says that it is out of service. So one good thing about Tesla superchargers that they are always working. Uh, most of them, I've never found a Tesla charger out of service. But this right here, it is the fastest one because this one is just CSS. So CSS, we have A and B and it's, it's a bigger than the other ones out there. But see, it says out of service. So we are in no luck today to charge at the 350 kilowatt. So our only bet is to see if this one is working. Okay, this one is working. So I'm gonna have to use this one. I'm not gonna use the Tesla charger because it's just 50 watt. This is the 100 uh, watt CSS. So dash to start. To get started, plug in any open connector and then I'll have to pair right here. I hope you guys can see it. So, this one right here, it is pretty thick as compared to that Tesla charger cable is not that thick because it's 50 watt and this is 100 watt. 
So you see the charging port? I don't think so. It's gonna open, so I'll have to open it uh, by going in the app and see this thing is not gonna connect. So I have to connect that uh, Tesla CSS to Tesla charger, which is from EV base. So let me do that and then we'll charge and see how fast it can do it. As you can see, this right here is the charging port, which is not gonna go in the Tesla. So we have to use this adapter, which is the CSS to Tesla charger. Right here is the Tesla port, which goes up here. I manually open the lid um, going to the application and forcing it because uh, if you're not using Tesla charger, the button's not gonna work. Uh, the one right here we have is for non-Tesla. So I'm gonna just go and plug this in. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Okay, this is how it is connected with the adapter and that's the Tesla charging port right there. So I'm gonna just plug it. Okay, it's plugged in, it's still in amber color because uh, I'll have to go and pay over here. So it has detected that I have plugged it in the port. I hope you guys can see it. I'm gonna show you. Okay, now I have to tap my card here and then it will start charging. I hope so. And it's gonna charge it 100 watts because if I was gonna use the Tesla charger, it's 50 watt. And then we have another one here. It's a different type of charger, 100 watt. But I'm using the CSS to the Tesla charger. So that's a lifesaver. Let's go and pay. All right, as you can see that green light, so it is charging at the non-Tesla charger. I'm using the CSS to Tesla adapter, which is right here from the EV base. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can go and check out. The reason why I'm using the CSS to Tesla is because I came to this EV Go charging station and it has Tesla charging at 50 watt and then you have the CSS at higher capacity of 100 kilowatt. So I'm using this, but I, you cannot plug this into the Tesla charging port uh, because Tesla charging port is like this, right? So we have the CSS to Tesla adapter, which I'm using. And let me show you guys in the car how fast this is charging. It's a 100 watt charger. There's a 350 watt fast charging, but that one is malfunctioning. It's out of service. So I wish I could test that out because Tesla can go up to 250 watts. Um, even though the charger says that it's 350 watts, but you can charge only up to 250 watts because Teslas are um bottleneck to 250 so even though charger is faster you cannot charge the tesla cars more than 250 kilowatt so right now it says 10 minutes remaining it is charging at 76 kilowatt instead of doing that full 100 kilowatt but it is better than using the tesla charger because it's charging faster it has already added 31 miles to it and uh, percentage wise i'm at 66 percent and you will see one warning here, which says that CSS cable button not intended to stop charging. So there's a button on the CSS cable when you plug it in the port. Do not press that button and take out the charging uh, because uh, it can damage. So what you have to do is, let me show you how to uh, first carefully um, and safely stop the charging. So go to this vehicle right here, go. And then you have to go to where it says charging right here. So click on charging. And you can see that my limit is set up to the 80%. So it's adding really fast uh, the way it's charging. So which is good. But we are trying to stop charging. So you're going to have to click on stop charging and then unlock charge port. And then you can pull that uh, the charging port out. So you can see right here, the last time I charged was in the Madisonville, Texas. I charged it at the Bucky's. They had about, um, you know, eight plus tesla superchargers and i paid 15 dollars when i took a trip to from texas to oklahoma and um, i charged there for 15 dollars so right now it's charging right here uh in houston it is the ev go charger 100 watt um i didn't have any nearby tesla supercharger here it's on the other part of the town so i just wanted to check this out and make a quick video about it so let me know guys what do you think about it? And please subscribe to the channel and like this video. I'll see you in another one. Until then, peace out. Okay, so my battery is enough charge. I just wanted it to be at least so that I can drive from here 30 minutes. I think I have enough uh, charging to reach home and uh, plug it back again with the Tesla charger that I have uh, at the home. So charging has completed up to 80% charge limit. And you can see right here, the charging has stopped itself. If you wanted to just stop it in the middle, you didn't want it to reach 80%, then 
Then you had the button showing up here which says stop charging as I showed you guys earlier. Now all I have to do is unlock charge port and it has done that unlocking. So I'm gonna go here and make sure it's showing white color right here. I bet maybe it is showing blue color on your screens because of the camera but it is safe to take it out. So like that, it's just ready to go. I'm gonna put this back here and I'm gonna see how much they charge me. It's not gonna show on the, uh, and see what I was gonna be doing. I was gonna leave my adopter behind. So make sure you take the adopter out and put the charger back. Well, all said, I did not forget my CSS to Tesla EV base uh, adopter and I have put that CSS charger back and now it's time to go home. So make sure to hit the like on this video guys and subscribe to the channel for more content and I'll see you in another video. Until then, peace out.